Virgo, you guys are next for an encouragement read. So, here we go. Before we get into the details of the message, let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity for any messages needing to come through for the collective sign of Virgo. For this, their encouragement read. May they be encouraged. May they find encouragement. In Jesus' name, amen. There is no time stamp on this message. Whenever you're led to the message, exactly when you need to hear it. If you are encouraged by the message, absolutely. Watch it as many times as you led to. A little more shuffle and we'll get into the read. That was kind of wonky. We'll, we'll take it. All right. In the hand, the universe is your partner. 31. 3 and 1 reduces down to 4. And that's number stability. We'll get back to that one in a second. Feast of Plenty. Choices and their consequences. Number 20 card. Reduces down to 2. Connection card. So... All right, now. I'm gonna say this. And it's, it's not gonna be a statement, it's gonna be more of a question, okay? The question is, there's two part question here. First question is, are you afraid of making a decision because you're worried about this, this decision turning out like previous decisions have? That's one question. Second question is, did you decide previously what looked good? Not even what looked good, but I feel like you made the, a decision and it could have been something that you really felt was the path you were supposed to go down or a person you were supposed to be with. Because I feel like this is romantic. This is about love here. But that you are really calling in your partner like calling in someone that understands you calling in someone that is that person you can stand toe to toe with you but this is almost like it's like a, you don't want to make a decision or you made a wrong decision or you felt like you made a wrong decision see I don't feel like there's ever a wrong decision I don't like, even our mistakes can be used as wisdom, can be used as, at least I tried, that type of thing. And, oh, this has revealed that about me. Do you see what I mean? Because this is like the Two of Swords card, but at the same time, it's choices and their consequences. I feel like you've already made a choice, and you've done this in the past, and... It's like, I don't want to make the choice now. But not making a choice is making a choice. And if you see on one side of this, and this is funny. This is kind of funny. If you look at the card, one side it's ice. The other side there's a bee and there's a feather down here. So you got one side that's life and one side that's frozen. One side that's like this abundant, um, the sun energy, like happiness and fertile energy and then you got frozen off on the side and if you feel like you've kind of taken like a different path and you're now at the position of okay what just happened that's when it's time to sit down and be like okay calling in this person 
And I'm praying for them. Like, I'm, I'm calling them in. But I trust you. Great creator. And instead of trying to get control. I really have control over the decision. Not even decision. Like, the details. You have to put your trust. In the one that can see more than we can. So that they can bring that person in for you that is an equal match to you. Because it doesn't mean that we have like one love during our lifetime. It really doesn't mean that. I thought there's only one person that's perfect for no, it doesn't mean that either. And see, you can have, and I really believe this too, I really believe this too, along, along the path of your life, you could have matches with different people, like depending on the different um, time period of your life, okay? And really fit with another person and be able to grow in that time period, it, and I really don't believe that it means that, you know, some people are blessed with the forever. Some people aren't. Some it's, what is the rule of thumb in your life for a lesson or a blessing? Um, a reason or a season, lifetime or a season, something like that. To where there's different people that come across your path. Soulmate energy that's perfect for that moment. Like it's equal matching up with that moment. And then like your path goes different directions than theirs does. You know, it, life gets involved. There's different circumstances that happen. You know what I'm saying. But this is one of those things of... Um, right within reach like your manifesting abilities too I feel like that too manifesting abilities is like quick like whoever this is for like you really quick but you're holding back and I feel like you're holding back because you're like what if I screw this up what if I get a problem like before no that's not don't look at it like that come on Because the when we get those problem people or karmic, it's usually because we still have unhealed places in us. We're still working on our healing and it's bringing it up. And But to stand there and not make a decision because you're afraid of making the decision when the decision is right at hand, it's still a decision. going to take a degree of um, releasing control. Coming apart, 46. Reduces down to 10, closing out of the cycle. Beginning of a new cycle. I'm going to get back to that one. Stuck in the mud. 24. Which reduces down to six. There's that human number. Go on. I keep getting that phrase, fly in the ointment. Fly in the ointment. It's from the Bible. And what it means is everything with the ointment looks good. One little thing, like, throws the whole thing off. And it's the fly in the ointment. Is that what's happened here? And it's put you in the stuck element. Gotcha. Gotcha. Listen. When it comes to manifesting, I want to say this too. When it comes to manifesting, when we call in someone, or when we call in our, how do you say it? Divine partner? Soulmate. 
when this happens, because I feel like that's what has happened here. There's been a decision that's been made. The person comes in. Everything's good. It looks good on paper. I've done this reading for you guys before. It looks good on paper. But there's something that's off. It's like the fly in the ointment. This fly has been in the house. And don't tell me flies live for 48 days. Or 48 hours. Because they do not live 48 hours. They're like, no they don't. This one has quite a bit of lifespan. But it's now hanging out with me. And there's a reason it's hanging out with me. Because there's something that's off here. What usually ends up happening. And I want to say this too. Is that right before someone comes in. When you're manifesting or you're praying. I still believe both of them are the same. But anyway. Um, what happens right before is that you'll get a diversion that'll come across your path of, I'm what you've been asking for, and they're completely different, or they kind of look like it, they kind of sound like it, it kind of, but there's one thing that's off, and you can't pinpoint what's off. Like, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Before I met my late husband, I had been told to go online, put my information up on this um, online website. And this was 15 years ago when nobody was doing that. So it was, it sounded strange to me too. So I was, I ended up talking to this guy right before meeting my late husband. And he was a few years younger than me. He was, he worked. I'm not a big thing on, like, you have to have a lot of money. Like, money is not the first thing with me. Like, it's not about money. Like, don't even. So, but the one thing that was off was that he lived in his mother's basement. And that was off to me. Like, no. Now, my mother went, well, how judgmental are you? You're living in your mother's house. No, no, no. We are roommates. I pay bills. Like, don't even. Well, then why are you judging him? Maybe he pays for the basement. But see, that's the thing. I live on the first floor. Like, no offense or anything, but he lives in the basement. Like, I feel felt like then that was a downgrade. And I know it sounds rude, and I hope it doesn't. But that was just at that moment that it felt like that because he wasn't that person. So everything else was fine. Everything else was fine. It was just that one little thing where it was like, no. But that one little thing may not have been an issue with if it had been my late husband. Because that's the thing. Is that it wasn't meant to be with this other person. It was meant to be with my late husband. So even if it's something ridiculously, ridiculously. See, I can't even talk tonight. Like, tripping over my own tongue. Um... If it's something like small and like so weird, out of place, where it just seems off, it's because it wasn't meant, to, like it's not, it's your intuition fighting against it. And see, I think that's what's happened here. I feel like that's what's happened here. Is that something was off at the same time it was like, uh, how much is it really off? So it could be to the moment now where you're in there, like there's some kind of connection there, but the little thing that wasn't, that really was off, is doing this. And really putting you in this place to where it feels stuck. Because it is. And it usually, it's just, it's like one of those things of like right before you're blessed, diversion pops up. Yeah, metamorphosis. 25 reduces down to 7, number of creation. This is change, changing the way you see things. This is changing you. Instead of going round and round your head about something, go with what feels 100% right. And not what just kind of looks right for the moment. Or it everything looks right but that. There's another seven, 43, reduced down seven. Details, details. There is something that's here within grasp peaks of joy that's going to lead to that 33 two sevens two threes together wow
And the change may even be of what, what really brought you to this person to begin with. And then it's going to be like a question of, why did I overlook that when I felt that that was off? Why was I okay with that? What part of this was I compromising and why was I compromising? Why did I feel like this was okay? Why didn't I question this? Why did I get in the middle of it now and it be the wedge that is driving us apart and really getting us to this place where it's stuck? Like what? Because that's the thing is when you're dealing with, we'll take that for example, third party. When you're dealing with third party, door still has to be open for them. Door has to be open for any energy that works as a third party. Career, job, family, friends, romantic, part, like anyone that was past romantic, anyone that's currently. Like you don't get mad at the third party. You don't. You have to sit down and figure out where the door was open. Where it was cracked to where the third party could come in. And this is one of those situations of not a third party, but situation of why did you overlook this then? Was it a compromise? Did you feel like you were helping? Like, what was this? Was it comfort for the moment? Was it needed for the moment? Knight of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. New opportunity here that's presented itself. Queen of Swords. Nine of Cups. The Star. Three of Cups. Four of Pentacles. High Priestess. Five of Wands. And Queen of Wands. Okay, listen. Why do I feel like this is what it looked like in the beginning? This is why you bought into it, I feel like. I feel like that's why, why you bought into it. Because it was love right off the bat. Shiny knight coming in with... Let's see. I like this card too in this deck. This is the Everyday Witch Tarot. And it's kind of funny. Because it just kind of... <laughs> little heart bubbles. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I mean, how like over the top with like a love offer can you be? And it was like new beginning. So where you could like new beginning of love and everything's bright and shiny. And they appear to be this queen of swords really standing there in power. And it looked like it's like this wish fulfillment, nine of cups. And then you get a little bit into it further. And then this happens star card okay i'm gonna get back to the star card let me lay all this back out again because that's what i feel like happened here the star card is healing but at the same time it's about you see where wishing upon a star getting attention being looked at and you see where this attention Like center of attention, that type of thing. And this. And I talked about third parties, and then this popped up. Three of Cups. The shadow side to that card. And shadow side to both of these cards. Not a healing thing, but like a... It, all, it became all about them. Like their ego... And this attention that they were seeking was like this third party. And see if it's one little thing. One little thing. And I feel like that because this fly is still like right here. And it was a fly in the ointment. One little thing shows you a big thing. It does. shows you a big thing. And you have to pay attention to the one little thing 
that seems off. If it doesn't seem off, like, I've been, like, when I met my late husband, we both looked at each other and said, where the hell have you been? Right. Now, I'm not saying neither of us, both of us were perfect, neither of us were perfect, nobody's perfect. The thing that I'm saying is that if you're sitting there and you're talking to someone or there's some sort of connection, but it's a little thing that just kind of, little thing that's off, don't jump in. Because the little thing that's off ends up being this big thing. And I feel like you're intuitively, intuitively, you knew that. Like you knew that this was the big thing. Like it was a little thing, but it was a big thing. Like it ended up being like this big thing. But this was like, they're appearing one way and they ended up not being that way. Four of Pentacles, this is not telling everything. See what I mean? Withholding. Then you got High Priestess. Your intuition. Your intuition told you this. It did. Now, the kicker is, though, and I'm going to... Let's just get everything out there while we're doing this. This Five of Wands energy, the moment that you bring this to their attention, this is what's going to happen. Because, honestly, in their mind, they really believe that they presented themselves honestly and that you saw everything. And I really don't think you did. I really don't think you did. I think it was one of those things of excusing it away. Um, like giving them a break. Like something like that. Oh, it's just part of their personality. Something. But the little thing ends up being like the flying the ointment. It'll ruin the entire ointment. If you're making an ointment for medicine. Medicine and a fly gets in it, it's going to ruin the whole batch. It is. Little thing. The fly is still kind of buzzing around. It'll just ruin the whole batch. Then you got to go collect the ingredients you need again. You got to... Some of the medicines that you make, some of the salves, some of the oils take weeks to make it. So this is what I'm saying. The little things. And I'm not talking about... I'm not talking about like their eyes are the wrong color like I prefer people with this color no I'm not even talking about that I'm talking about the fact of when let's let's do that um, I'm trying to think of an example like when you go out together it's always about where they want to go and not about where the two of you want to go in the beginning and then they make an excuse I can't go there because of this and I can't go there because of this and then it's um, the only place they want to go is where they get a lot of attention and then in the beginning you're like what in the world is up with this and you don't understand what's going on that's what I'm saying little thing that then compiles, doesn't even, uh, doesn't even pile up, but it reveals itself once you're in. Once you're in too deep, then it's like, the hell was this about? That's how this appears. But if you call them out on this, if you call them out on this because they didn't come forward and really... They didn't reveal everything to you about it. If you call them out on it and ask them about it, that's what's going to happen. It's going to be a confrontation. And it's even going to be a confrontation if you really embrace the Queen of Wands energy too. Queen of Wands energy is that speaking your truth. Like, I don't like it when you do this. So there's this is where this change is going to happen. This metamorphosis you have to go back and look at the little thing but you have to ask yourself why did I give yeah see you have to go back that's going back yep Here, 
there's another manifestation card. And I understand they appeared that way in the beginning. They came across, I feel like it was like a charlatan type of thing. Like it's everything your hearts desire. No. Some people don't realize when it comes to soulmate energy or, yeah, soulmate partnership, that it's not 100% that both of you like the same things. I want to say that too. It's not. It's like there's so many differences there, but the two of you match up completely. Like it's just, it, there. it's something completely different. Okay, I'll give you an example because I feel like that's what's needed here too. Um... My late husband, <laughs> we go to the mall the first time, and this was hilarious. Never been to the mall together. We had just started dating. Well, not just started dating. We had been together a couple months. We were already pregnant. So, we go to Christiana Mall in Delaware. We walk in the Christiana Mall. It was an indoor mall. I'm looking for one of two stores, either bookstore or the music store, because I had been in hermit mode for like so many years I wanted music and I wanted books I wanted movies something like I wasn't even interested in food like I just wanted movies and books this man saw Yankee Candle Store six foot four and at the time it was like 250 pounds squealed in the middle of Christiana Mall and took off like a B beeline for a Yankee Candle I stepped up a little bit closer to the store and I went did you just squeal dude from inside the store, you hear a very deep voice going, Don't judge me, woman. Well, I, the Bath and Body Works is down that way. Is it? I need new loofahs. Are you kidding? Like, there's differences between you. There's supposed to be. So if someone is coming across like they're your perfect match and they're trying to sell themselves as I'm just like you red flags I'm just saying red flags five of cups and I feel like right now this is what you're doing manifesting but you're going back into the past to see what what the hell went wrong last time nothing went wrong look seriously I'm, I'm telling you what went wrong like nothing went wrong with the actual manifestation it was the fact that this person crossed your path and sold you. It was like selling you something that looked good on paper, but wasn't good on paper. Like it looked good on paper, wasn't good in person. Like they really convinced you. Yeah, they really convinced you of this. They were very loving. Like this perfect match, you know, energy. And then you see the difference here? The perfect match energy and the tower. You see that? So what is coming in? Because I cannot leave this read like this. Ace of Swords, seeing the truth. Eight of Pentacles, working on yourself. The Fool, taking a new leap. Three of Pentacles, working together with others in the higher event. And really being that teacher for yourself. And really spiritually being guided here because I mean uh, listen listen pay attention to like small red flags like pay attention to this because you have you're going to pull out of it like you're going to be able to emerge from this stronger at the same time you're going to be able to take a leap of faith again to something new. Because there's something, listen, there's a change that's coming because you had to go through this with a karmic partner. So what you're manifesting is right at hand, but you had to deal with the karmic first. I feel like this is what this was, was a karmic. But they sold you on something. It was like a snake oil sa salesman. I know people use that. They just kind of throw that out there. But you have this coming. Like there's plans for your future being made behind the scenes. And you're 
you are manifesting that. The great creator is sending you someone that's not this. But because this has been cleaned up, and I feel like it needs to be cleaned up, then what is being offered to you is like right there, and you're going to be able to grasp hold of it. But you had to deal with this karmic first. It really came across as one thing and wasn't that. So, for the collective sign of Virgo, this is your encouragement. We be encouraged. What you're manifesting is on its way. Love and light. 